everyone, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. Speaking of never growing up, I have a huge favor to ask of you. Only if you actually like Roblox, okay? Don't do this for me just because you like me. Or unless you like listening to me be goofy and you don't necessarily like Roblox, but whatever. Anyway, I started a gaming channel because uh, I'm trying to teach other YouTubers how to pivot into gaming. So <laughs> I kind of need to learn how to do it myself. So Missy Games 55 is the channel and I am really bad at it, but it's really, really fun. And, and uh, my latest video might surprise you. Uh, I'm gonna link it down below. And at the end of this video, uh, I did a little dress up in Squishmallows and uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. So anyway, today we are talking about Mermaid High. Now, I resisted, you know what, I need to, I, I just lied to you. I hate it when I lie to you. I bought a Mermaid High doll. She was pink. She stayed in the box forever. She sat next to me on the floor. I would pick her up. I would look at her and I would go, eh, and I ended up donating her. So I thought, I thought, okay, Mermaid High, it's just not, it's just not, you know, rocking my world. It's not catching my attention. And then I was looking on Amazon and I saw the new, I guess, I don't know if this is the second wave or what this is, but this is Mermaid High having something to do with spring. And it says on the back here, it says Mermaid High splashing for fashion. You know, and as, adult, as an adult collector, you know, co who collects Playline dolls, uh, you know, I'm kind of in a weird space, but you know, I'm so happy because there's so many more of us now. You know, it used to be if you were an adult collector that meant you were collecting Tonner dolls and integrity and all that stuff, you know, and you know, not Mermaid High or Rainbow High. But now, you know, you guys have all come around to see things my way. <laughs> you can spend like $300 on a really expensive, gorgeous doll, or you can buy a whole bunch of Playline dolls and have bright colors in your, in your house. So this is Spring Break. Oh, how perfectly timed this release was. Spring Break Rainia. Rainia? Rainia, I do not know how to say her name. Uh, oh, look at this. Scan, scan this QR code to dive deeper, everyone. Deeper dive. Now, I love her artwork so much. I love whoever is doing this artwork of this doll. Look at her splashing with her friends with her glasses, she's so cute. She's totally got like schoolgirl Lolita vibes going on here. I mean, this is this is this is this is this one sexy playline doll. I'm telling you right now. And the thing that really intrigues me about Mermaid High dolls is the thing that it, you heard me complain about consistently in every video of mermaids mermaids dolls and that was that they don't have legs and I get it mermaids don't have legs unless they're in a movie with Tom Hanks or they lose their voice so that they can marry a prince which is really such a bad story but anyway these dolls have legs and they're also mermaids and so I think just from a play perspective for kids I think there's more play value here but I also, you know, these look like dolls you also wouldn't put in the water. So if you're a parent and your kids have played with these dolls in water, can you please comment down below? Let me know how that worked out for you. Because, I mean, I know it's not going to work out with these at all. But I'm wondering, you know, but on the other hand, works out great with these. Are these somewhere in between? I don't know. I'm going to get her out of the box. Let's take a look and uh, I'll tell you what I think about my first, my, my first official Mermaid High doll. We'll be right back. Okay, she's out of the box and I already love her. <laughs> I regret nothing, absolutely nothing. So this is Rainia, 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 I don't know how to say that name. Out of the box, look at the tail. I, I love the way they incorporated her school skirt into her tail. These dolls are made by Spin Master and it's been a long time since we've seen dolls from Spin Master. So it's kind of cool to see what they came up with here. First of all, hair 
is so soft. There is no product in the hair. Now it is pretty much a flat color brown. Sorry, sweetie. I don't mean flat in a bad way. I mean, this is a beautiful, rich brown, but then underneath they have this sort of under, under dye. I don't know, what would we call that? And according to the box, the stripe of hair will change color in sunlight, so in UV light. I don't happen to be in possession of a UV lamp, so we cannot test that out. But the hair is super, super soft. Loving the little tendrils. I really love this sort of very bump it kind of high sort of thing that we're getting with her hair right here. I, I always love that look. And then she's definitely got, this looks like Tetris on someone's head. And now I need Tetris barrettes, even though I don't have hair, because I think that's so cool. And I love Tetris. And then uh, her, there's a whole pixelation vibe going in the artwork on her tail. So I don't know what her story is, but then on the back we've got, you know, oops, sorry, just banged her on the microphone. You can see like a more traditional scales are mixed in. The back, there is less uh, screening, and I don't know if this varies from doll to doll or if the front of every doll looks the same. Look at how this looks like a flower, a tail. It's also, though, got jagged edges over on the sides to make it look pixelated. I mean, they really committed to this theme. Again, totally in love with this, this fabric. I think I'm just in love with this fabric. Like, if this had been my school uniform, I would have been a lot happier than I was in the maroon and gray that I wore for 12 years. It's like, you'll notice I rarely, if ever, wear maroon. I love gray. Maroon, not so much. This is really, really cute because her top, excuse me, her top has like a little Peter Pan collar, which is also very schoolgirly. Shell on the front, but notice we've got the arrow and then her suspenders are attached to the shirt and the skirt so it does essentially function as one piece and it opens with velcro in the back now that's that's a really short skirt so i'm kind of curious about what happens when we take this off in terms of accessories she came with shoes and i'm okay with that like, how many times have I said to you guys, I don't need another doll brush, you know? Or, or don't give me plastic accessories that I don't need. Put it more into the clothing. So these dolls are $21.99. So priced lower by almost $10 now than Rainbow High dolls, which again, not the same type of quality. I understand that. I'm just saying like, as a parent who's buying dolls, you know, these, beautiful, beautiful dolls, you know, 32 to $34, depending on where you're shopping. This one, a lot cheaper, and probably, uh, you know, there will be sale prices, you might find coupons. So, I mean, right now, like a $10 difference is a couple of gallons of gas, you know? And, and with everything the way it is, that's something that we need to consider. And when you try to think about, well, how much is my, my child or myself going to play with this doll? Well, I don't know. I mean, this is more like, and I love her, by the way, I've decided she's my fave. She's my fave. I just love the all over kind of just vibe here. Um, it, you know, that's, I love her, gonna put her on a shelf when I figure out how to make sure she doesn't fall over. This is a doll that I think a child would be more likely to play with. Uh, also, I forgot to show you her earrings, which she's got mismatched earrings. Again, commitment to the pixelation. And over on this side, this one is a little tiny seashell. See how cute that is? I wanna focus on the face for a second before we do the tail removal reveal. So these eyes are, are sticker-like, okay? They're not inset, they're not pixel stamped on, which, it gives them more of a, of a flat look, but we are far less likely to get weird screening problems on eyes like this. It certainly makes a doll more affordable. And I think that, you know, I'm not sure, uh, she's cute. I mean, she's adorable. So to me, a really 
like she's cute I don't care you know like I think she's sweet so uh but just wanted to make sure you understood what kind of eyes we're dealing with because some of us are into certain kinds of eyes so you can see with the shine on there you know that there's and of course there's no rooted eyelashes that's fine you know a lot of money I think went into the tail so now I'm gonna just the tail is a nice stretchy material um let's see how does this come off oh wait you know what okay so there's velcro at the back interesting 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 i thought what i thought was going to happen was that the tail was going to pull out from underneath here and i thought this was her skirt and that's why i was like that's a really short skirt but actually there's velcro on the back and then there's another skirt thing going on underneath here so now she's in a bathing suit a really really cute bathing suit and she has legs <laughs> so tail tail or legs which do you prefer so you've got a tail and you've got legs so let's put her little her little uh shoes on now the shoes are not super high quality like i don't want to say like oh my gosh this doll is such high quality because it's not but i do want to point out some of the really good points about it so articulation she's articulated at her wrists you know, shoulders, articulated at the knees, uh, not articulated at the waist, but that's okay because we're getting, first of all, we're getting legs. Second of all, we're getting knees that bend. Her shoes are extremely uh, chunky and plasticky, but I don't care. I really don't care. I think they're cute. I think, I think, I think I'm just, so obsessed with the fact that she has legs that I don't care. And look at how cute this outfit is. Wait, let me hold this and I need you to hold this. Wait, make it so I can hold it. Fling it over my arm. All right, here we go. There you go. So there you go. She could use her tail as a towel. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't this a cute outfit? And with the hair and everything, I really dig it. I really, really do. I am like not kidding. Now I'm like, well, I guess I'm going back on Amazon. Cause I have to say, I don't really see uh, these mermaid high dolls that much in stores or I haven't been really paying attention. That is entirely possible because uh, you know, your brain uh, doesn't notice things that you aren't looking for. So it's, it's, it's a good idea to go to the doll aisle and really open your eyes and look, because sometimes you find things that you didn't even know that you liked. I'm surprised by how much I like this. Now, other cool thing about her is that even with, wait, let me take her shoes off. So she does not come with a stand, which is fine. You can get Kaiser doll stands uh, on Amazon. And I will put a link down below that's an affiliate link. Also the link for this doll, affiliate link. If you use those links, I'll get a little bit of money and Lord knows I can use it. Um, there are so many dolls to buy. And now I've just decided that I want all of the Mermaid High dolls. I love her tail. I love, 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 love this tail. This is one of the cutest mermaid tail executions I've ever seen. Really, really. And so then uh, you could put her because she does not stand on her own, but you could put her on a Kaiser doll stand or, a, you know, if you have another doll stand for a small waisted doll, because uh, she does have a very small waist. Let me try and lift you up without knocking you over and ta-da, see? She stands, but you can still splay her tail out. I think that, uh, ah! she's falling over. Hey, I'm pretty impressed that I lifted her up and the whole thing didn't go kablooey, right? But see, you just sort of zhuzh the tail over the side. Look at how pretty that is. I need to pretend she's, but she doesn't have to pretend to flip around because she has legs. I mean, I know I'm way overexcited about that, but I'm surprised at how much I like this doll. Darn it. Don't you hate it when you find a new doll line that you like? It's more money. Mo money, mo money. So please, if you are gonna get her on Amazon, please use my link. I need the money. <laughs> so let me know down below if you are a fan of Mermaid High or now that you've seen this doll, are you like, okay, now I really need to take a second look at Mermaid High. I feel like like wave one, wave one, maybe wasn't as impressive because I really, I looked at that pink doll so many times and I was like, eh, eh. And I didn't. And then as soon as I saw her pop up in my feed on Amazon, I was like, wait, 
She's so cute. Oh, I forgot the most important accessory. Her glasses. <gasps> How could I forget? This is like, she's so cute. Let's get these on. Oh, and I love that they just go right on. I did not have to have like a conniption. Look at how cute she is. I love how the glasses are kind of oversized. Like they're way too big for her face. And I think that just adds to the cuteness factor. I think she's really adorable. I think she's really adorable. One might even say that she's adorkable. <laughs> Which is a term I actually like because I think when I was younger, I would have liked to say that I was adorkable rather than, and I'm a freak. I'm a nerd. I'm adorkable, you know? I think I would have liked to have claimed an adorkable identity. I just really love this. Let me, let, me get your, let me get your little, oh, I knocked your glasses off. It's okay, it's okay. Calm down, mommy. You're so excited. I know, right? Is that your voice? No, you just made it up. Okay, so I haven't watched the series or anything. I don't know if there's lore. I don't know. And I don't, I don't think it's probably not intended. Well, none of these shows are intended for me. Although I feel like a lot of times Rainbow High knows that a lot of older people are watching because they throw in some stuff that maybe might only appeal to us. I love her. <sighs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Missy Games 55. I am going to be playing today. There's a new uh, Hello Kitty game and I cannot wait to hop over to the other part of this room and get on my computer and play some Hello Kitty. I've become that girl. Like last night I was like, okay, honey, before I put the cats to bed, I'm just gonna go downstairs. I just wanna make sure that like, I didn't leave anything turned on in the studio. Like half an hour later, I was like, uh, I better go back upstairs. I was playing some obby game, you know, but I'm really enjoying it. And it's nice. It's nice to have something fun and new. That is really, really fun. And I hope you find something fun and new in 2022. I will see you guys again real soon. Love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.